Well, hello everybody. We're going on a little excursion. I wanted to show you uh, another one of the places in Granbury that people love to go. Uh, if I can get this camera set up here so it doesn't fall. <laughs> it's not cooperating with me very well. Now, let's see if we can get around here. <clears throat> This is Brookshire's Grocery right here, not too far from my house. And we've come right behind um, McDonald's and Burger King, where this new apartment complex is for retired people. We have to go down beside that to get to where we're going. But it's a, just a little spot that I thought you'd like to see. It's closed today because it is Monday. So my camera <laughs> doesn't fall, which it is. It's falling, y'all. So. But you have to go right down beside the, the overpass here. And go down this steep hill, which... I always felt kind of uneasy going down it, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just a steep hill. You got to go down to get to the parking lot of this restaurant, and it's the only floating restaurant we have in Granbury. It's literally in the water floating. It's kind of neat, I think. But we can get out and walk a bit since the restaurant is closed. And I apologize for the view. I got this new tripod and it just doesn't want to cooperate with me. But I used to come out here with friends a long time ago. And this is not going to cooperate with me the way I want it to. But, um, yeah, it's fixed kind of neat, I think. My son used to bring his uh, boat up here, and he'd rent one of the slips that would raise the boat out of the water and leave it <clears throat> so he didn't have to haul it all the way back to Joshua every time he came over here. But he doesn't have that boat anymore. We used to go out almost every weekend in it. But isn't that neat, y'all? It's a big floating restaurant. And it's got like garage doors that's opened at night. They open the doors so you get the experience of being outside as well as inside in the restaurant. And they got that like patio area back on that back corner. You can see that it's open. They have tables and chairs for dining back there yeah it's just another place I thought you'd like to see and you can see the uh, retirement apartment complex the new one is right there right off the parking lot so everybody that has an apartment on this side of the building has, you know, an ocean view or basically water view, water view from their windows or their patio. It's a nice place to live to retire. <laughs> but 
yeah, you can see all the boats slip. Some of them don't raise the boats out of the water, but my son rented one, like the one right in front of us. You can see that boat is completely out of the water. Because if you leave it in the water, it gets oil and all kind of grime on the bottom of your boat. I know my son took it out one time, and when he came back to rent another spot, the only thing they had left was the slips that didn't raise the boat out of the water. So it was either take it or leave it. He took it, he was sorry he did. It cost him about $300 just to get the bottom of the boat clean, you know, get all the oil and stuff that skims on top of the water from the boat residues, you know, from running the motors. All that film will stick to the bottom of your boat, unfortunately. And it's not cheap to uh, pay someone to clean it either. But you can see they've got three slips, boat parking on each side. But the only one with the lifts, I think, is the one up here. I mean, there might be one or two here in this section that has a lift, like that pontoon boat. That looks like it's out of the water. But yeah, if you're gonna leave your boat in a slip like this, any length of time, you want one that has the lift. You don't wanna leave that boat sitting in the water because the bottom will end up being black with oil and gas and all kind of debris out of the water. But you can read the name up there. It says Rockin' Bar and Grill. So it's basically a seafood restaurant with a bar inside. It's a night spot. I used to hang out here a little bit with a friend of mine. She, she was single at the time. She's married now. We'd go in there and order a little bit of food and just hang out with some friends for a little bit. But yeah, that, that's a nice apartment building for retired people up there. And they also have a view of the city fireworks display. They can look right across the lake out here in the direction of the convention center. And they have like a first row seat to the fireworks display every year. Yeah, it's a pretty good sized floating restaurant. And they get away with, I understand, quite a bit of licensing, having it on the water because it's not considered Granberry. <laughs> when you have something floating on the water like that, it's not under the same rules and regulations like it would be if it was on solid ground. I think the licensing and, and things like that are a little bit different. And you can see it's right along 377 overpass or the bridge. But I think it's neat too the way they have all the cactus, rose bushes and stuff planted along through here, the walkway. decorative grasses. I've got some of that growing in my yard. <laughs> I need to get some of this cactus that doesn't have the stickers on it. I've got cactus in my yard, but it's the kind that has stickers. This is uh, spineless cactuses or stickerless or whatever they want to call it. You can't get it everywhere, but that's the kind I need for my yard. I wouldn't mind the cactus being in my yard if it didn't have those outrageous stickers on them because they hurt. They hurt dearly when you get stuck with them. And I love the flowers they produce. They have the beautiful flowers on them. And I see these have already bloomed. They got the little pods on them. And the Mexican people eat those pods when they turn red. They said, don't ever get rid of your cactus. You can eat your cactus. <laughs> but I've never tried to eat it. Not prepare it myself, I haven't. I've eaten like a, well, no, it was jalapeno candy, not cactus. <laughs> you 
now hiring rocking and uh, rocking barn grill <laughs> And you can see you can tie up boats on this side. <laughs> Looks like they're pretty full with boats. But it has a, basically a walk around deck. I'd walk around it, but I'm afraid I'd get in trouble. Because <laughs> it is closed. They don't want people, you know, messing around the restaurant when it's closed. So I'll refrain from trying to walk around it. Yeah, who wouldn't want to live there if they could afford it? My retirement check's probably not big enough to pay for rent for one of those apartments. It'd take my whole check plus some. And I bet fishing is good around here because they probably throw a bunch of food scraps from the restaurant into the water. A lot of the restaurants do. And the fish eat it all, so they congregate around any of the restaurants that are down on the water. And I think it's beautiful, you know? <laughs> Come out here and eat, be right on the water. The doors are open, so it's almost like being outside. You know, if they had to, they could untie the ropes and it would float right away. <laughs> they could take it wherever they wanted to take it on the lake. We used to have a double-decker ferry that you could uh, book dinner cruises on. I don't know if that's still operational or not. But I'd be down on the river fishing and sometimes I would see the ferry go by with music playing and the pe people partying on the, the little ferry boat for their dinner cruise. It's nice out here today, especially in the shade, this breeze blowing. Real nice. But it goes on and on way down here. Let's take a walk. sun's on the screen so I can't tell what I'm showing you. <laughs> I wanted to go live with this but I was afraid that me moving like this it would mess up the picture. I'd rather have a really nice clean picture in the video and just do a video rather than go live if it's gonna mess up the reception of it. It's nice. I mean, just to come out here and take a walk, it's nice. <laughs> Get out of the house and take a walk. <laughs> See, I'm just getting to the end of that building. <laughs> I'm not even to the end of it yet. <laughs> They can look out their windows or come out on their patio and they're looking right over at the water. Really nice. But you got to be a certain age or retired to live there. I mean, a couple in their 20s wouldn't be eligible for an apartment. <laughs> the sidewalk ends right down here but you could probably definitely come down here and go fishing yes yeah, it's a little turnabout basically <laughs> yeah man I think you could do some good fishing here 
even got a little seat right here on the pole. <laughs> I could sit down there and fish my heart away. There's a cabin cruiser. That's nice. That'd be so neat for a day's fishing trip or weekend. Take it out on the water. You could cook and sleep. Do whatever you wanted to do right out on the lake. Never have to come to shore. Seagulls flying by. Isn't that neat? I know that's some good fishing. It's got to be. I don't know if I dare come down. I've never been down here fishing. I mean, I assume they would let you. I mean, I don't think they have any rules against fishing down here at the end of this little sidewalk. You're not going to be interfering with boats or anybody else. But how neat is this to live in a place right on the lake where you have ha access to many, many spots all over the lake that you can go fish. And fishing is something I want to do pretty soon because I haven't been. Yeah, if the buildings weren't so high up, you could basically fish right out of your window. <laughs> if you could cast hard enough, I guess you could. I mean, I'm sure they got a sidewalk over there. Where people can maybe walk down to the lake here. You know, come down closer to the lake. Probably right at the bottom of that brick wall over there. Because it's got a crosswalk up here where people can come down from the apartment building and then cross the little crosswalk and come over to the restaurant if they wanted to. But how nice is this, y'all? That's why they call this a resort town. <laughs> it's because there's so much going on for tourists, you know, like fishing, boating, so many restaurants here. That poor little cactus there must have been a new plant because Part of it's dying out, but <clears throat> those leaves thrown on the ground like that will root and they'll start a plant. <clears throat> yeah, this is just another one of the tourist spots and local hangouts that I thought you'd like to see. You see, they got, and usually that parking lot is full of people on the weekends. It's completely full of people on weekends. I was looking down there to see if I could see any fish or anything, but I don't see any. Usually you can see little fish swimming around because I catch my bait just right off the bank. And you probably could catch some, a few fish, little ones to use for bait down there. Oh, it's so nice under this big tree. It really is.
But how's that for a nice fun spot to go to for dinner? I think it'd be a neat place to go. Well, it used to be, it was, it's been owned by several different owners and the name has changed many, many times over the years. But now it's known as Rockin', Rockin's, Rockin's, or Rockin's Bar and Grill. So there you go, that's just another site I wanted to show you. And I'll keep uh, bringing up new places in town here that you might like to see from time to time. See so y'all have a blessed day and we'll see y'all on another one. Bye now.